Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing well. I'm in a very, very good mood today. It is the 2nd of Jan, I'm motivated as hell. I've got my first run of my marathon prep training. Gonna go through all my goals today and what I want to achieve in 2023 and also probably going back on a lot of the things that I did in 2022 and how I ran so far. How you run and how you lift, how do you build muscle, how do you retain muscle? How do you try a new sport? How do you do something new? So that is going to be basically today. And I'm going to start with my 12K easy run. It is an aerobic run. So it's a zone two, which means to me, I want my heart rate to be below around 150. I want it to be below 150. So that is the aim today. Nice and steady. Going to enjoy it. I'm in a great mood. So let's go. Heart rate currently done 4k it's been at 145 the whole time going from like a 510 to a 515 per k so super chill these aerobic runs are the ones that will help the most with the actual marathon because you're building your aerobic capacity so you can go further for longer with a lower heart rate and over time you're gonna go faster I've just ran over a thorn and it's gone straight through my big toe and it's bleeding. Holy shit balls, this hurts. I'm not even kidding. What do you do in this situation? Oh no. Okay guys, it's getting worse. I just put my shoe back on and you can see there's a thorn that's gone all the way through and the thorn is now stuck. So I am literally, I'm, I, don't, I don't know how to get that thorn out. Oh my God, I am so scared now to run. Oh, right, so I didn't get the thorn out. Oh my God, I'm literally so scared that thorn's gonna go back in my toe. Honestly, I'm out to ask Ben to come pick me up. I took the insole out and I tried to get the thorn out, but it's like this big. So I tried to push it down back into the shoe. This is not a good start to the marathon prep, is it? Oh my goodness me. Guys, I'm gonna do 10K because where that thorn has just gone into my toe, feels like I'm being stabbed every time I run and it's making my technique go weird but I'm literally 5k from home so no choice <laughs> but to run back I now have a new fear unlocked when I run so that's great no because that was the whole thing was just traumatic then that whole 6k back was so freaking painful on my toe i was just like limping and i've not checked what my heart rate is yet i'll put it on the screen i'm hoping it was still below 150 after that little ordeal who knew a thorn could go through a nike shoe guys when i say that was the biggest ordeal ever the whole situation right when i got home then i've, I've fresh i mean it's it's hours later i had a really long meeting this morning about my coach about the podcast about 2023 which is what we're going to talk about today anyway but i got home and i realized my toe was literally throbbing so much. I was like, why Why is it still really hurting? There was still part of the thorn in my toe and I pulled it out and it was just an absolute shit show. Anyway, you saw my run this morning. It was still a super good aerobic run. My heart rate was nice and low. And as I explained on that video, the reason why you do the heart rate runs is because over time, you will be faster and you will be able to go further with a lower heart rate because you're not as gassed out. You don't need to try as hard. Your lungs aren't burning. Your heart isn't burning. And you overall feel better because essentially your cardiovascular system is fitter. So that is one of my goals this year is the London Marathon in April. I think it's the 23rd of April. There is a donation link below. I will be doing it for breast cancer again. So if you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. I think there are quite a few new people since I ran my 100K. Last July, so going back like what, six months now, I ran 100K for breast cancer. I also ran 100K for a personal challenge. I'm the type of person who believes you should try something new. You should challenge yourself. You should see what the human body can do and also see what you're capable of. I randomly, New Year's Eve, last last year signed up for 100k and I'd never ran over I think it was a 22k or a 25k was the furthest distance that I'd ever ran so 100k was a bit of a stretch it was probably one of the best things that I ever did in 2022 and one of the best things I ever did in my life it was emotional it was thrilling it was hard and I think 
this day and age, not enough people do something that is actually hard and pushes you out of your comfort zone. I really struggled with a lot of different factors. The 100k video is on my channel, so you can go back and watch it anyway. But actually pushing myself so far out of my comfort zone, something that I'd never done, I didn't even think was possible, and then doing it is an amazing feeling. I then did like a 360 and I thought, what can I do that's complete opposite? Enter a powerlifting competition. So I did a bench press competition in the December and I did really well. I mean, I got a no lift. There's also a YouTube video on this. I got a no lift, but I still benched 70 kilograms and I was so pumped with this. I was so proud. Again, never felt so far out of my comfort zone. More out of my comfort zone in that one than the 100K may I add. I just really just, I felt a little bit out of tune with my whole self in the powerlifting space, even though everyone was really lovely. I, was, I found it really, really hard. However, you come away from it and you feel really accomplished. I have High Rocks Worlds. So me and my sister did High Rocks last year for the first time ever and then qualified for Worlds. <laughs> So I will be training so freaking hard for this. If you don't know what high rocks is, it's it's very functional. It's basically, I would say like CrossFit without the Olympic lifting, but with running. And it's so freaking hard. But then again, I want to do something that is really uncomfortably hard because I think the best things happen on the other side of being fearful of something or being nervous or never having done something before. And then you do it and you feel this this accomplishment. You don't have to win. You don't need to break records. You don't need to do this, this and that. It's just the act of doing something new. So London Marathon is first in April. And then I have High Rocks a month later. And then I'm getting married in June. And another goal that I have this year, again, it's more of like a year long goal, is 20 straight pull ups, full on proper pull-ups, chin to bar, and that's just another goal that I wanted to throw in there. So I think having those three fitness goals for me next year are super important and they're all performance based. If you take me back four or five years ago, I think my goals were only aesthetic. And I kind of look back and I think, mm, that's probably why I didn't enjoy training as much. I follow the plans on my coach. So I follow the plans on our app because they're so good. They are so good. You can get 50% off below. But when you're following a set program, it's not all about aesthetics. It's not solely about how big's your ass, how shredded can you get, how much muscle can you build. It's about, okay, I want to do my first 2K run. I want to do my first 10K. I want to deadlift 100 kilograms. I want to enter a powerlifting competition. I want to try something new. I want to start swimming, cycling, whatever it is. It's, it's the act of trying something new with a performance aspect in there. And then when you achieve that goal, no matter what it is, you feel really accomplished. Obviously, when you have performance goals, aesthetics come with it anyway. So the aesthetics come hand in hand with training and enjoying it. You will find if you enjoy your training and you actually enjoy the process, your aesthetics and your results will be way better than if you just focus on the aesthetics because it's so dull, I think, just focusing on what you look like. It's it's really, I think it's hard mentally and you don't feel that good. And this is from my experience in the past three, four years of only focusing on what I look like. What we obviously do at my coach is you focus on performance, health and aesthetics. So you're focusing on three things, not just one. And you have goals in different areas. And I just think that's super important. I would say my aesthetic goals are to keep building muscle and maintain my physique throughout my marathon prep because obviously I'm gonna be running way more and you guys are gonna see it anyway. But also I do these crazy ass challenges on YouTube that are kind of intertwined into my training and I need to now think how I can train for High Rocks Worlds, which is like a really elite thing that I don't even know how we've qualified. I still do everything else and I, I get this crazy amount of thrill and enjoyment from, from doing that. So I am really excited and I think it was important for me just to update you guys on my goals as well because last year I have oh, the goals were so crazy and if you did watch the 100k video you'll know I lost quite a lot of weight at the end of my ultra prep I lost you don't start things and not finish them you don't quit there's nothing that comes out of quitting besides knowing that you didn't finish we finish everything you start it finish it if you're gonna do it do it to try and be the best 
five or six kilos but then within 12 weeks I put it all back on and my body changed and it was kind of interesting to see how my body adapted to that ultra and then I packed on all this muscle again I was back up to 64 kilos did a bench press comp I had to do a water cut for this competition and I just think the human body is amazing what it can do and I like giving you guys the experiences experiences of what I I do as well because putting yourself out there when you never think you can is even more rewarding because if someone tells you you can't do something or shouldn't do something god the amount of people who said I shouldn't do 100k or shouldn't do the bench press competition or shouldn't do this shouldn't do that I was like fuck you <laughs> let me try because what what could happen what is the worst thing that could happen I get some except some very dodgy blisters on my toes and a whole lot of reward. They are my 2023 goals. I'm super excited. If you're new to my channel, hello, hi, welcome. There was loads of new people at the end of last year and I appreciate every single one of you. Obviously, my channel is really heavily based around these crazy fitness challenges that I do as well, where I train like other people or I'll train like a Marine, a Navy SEAL. Try and do something that seems nearly impossible and I would love to try it and just give it my best go so hopefully you take some inspiration from that in whatever sense possible and that is this YouTube video in a nutshell. I have a crazy challenge that I am doing next week so next week's video will be a crazy ass challenge and I'm literally just terrified but move aside from that make sure you give this video a big thumbs up liking the videos is super super helpful for me it helps my channel grow it helps more people see the videos which is awesome and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one bye